Hello class, Professor Anderson here. Let's talk about unit vectors. This is a way to uh, describe vectors in Cartesian coordinate space. And a unit vector is a dimensionless vector. Okay, there's no units associated with it. And it has a magnitude equal to one. And that's why it's called a unit vector. It's one unit, all right? So the only thing that unit vectors do is they specify direction. Okay, and they specify the direction that you're moving. Now in our Cartesian coordinate system, we said we have x, we have y, we have z, and so we'd like to identify unit vectors that correspond to the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. And the ones that we choose are i, j, and k. We write them as i hat, j hat, and k hat. And the, the hat, this thing is called a hat, it means it is a unit vector so it is a vector but it only has magnitude one all right so anytime you're along the x-axis you're going to use an i hat anytime you're along the y-axis you're going to use a j hat so let's draw a coordinate system And let's try the following. I'm going to give you a point right here. Let's say that that is point five, four. Okay. It is five out in the x direction. One, two, three, four, five. It is four up in the y direction. So let me ask you the following question. How do I write that vector, and let's call it vector A, how do I write that in terms of unit vectors? And if somebody knows, just raise your hand and shout it out. Okay. No? no? I just had a scratch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do I write the vector A in terms of unit vectors? Any thoughts? I'll do the hard part for you, okay? Two dimensions, there's something that's gonna go in front of the I hat, there's something else that's gonna go in front of the J hat. What do you think? <laughs> A sub x and A sub y. That sounds fantastic. And in fact, for the problem that we just identified, can we say exactly what those A sub x's and those A sub y's are? So what, what would you write? What was, what's the next line I should put? Good. So we need to figure out how long this is. How long is that? Oh, five. 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 I have. If that one's five, what does the other one have to be? Four. Four. Okay. That's what this vector is. That's how you write it. Five I hat plus four J hat. And what it means is, let's move five units in the x direction. That's what the i hat means. And let's move four units in the y axis direction, which is the j hat. Okay, That's what those two things mean. And that is this vector right here. It starts at the origin, and it goes up to that point, 5 comma 4. Okay, everybody okay with that so far? All right. Good.